Soto running this stream. Team Jigglypuff, Team Luigi. So, J Jigglypuff, we got Taco, CTG, Dark Horse, and Ring Edge. We got a stacked Jigglypuff team. Now, Luigi team, Sheeman, uh, sorry, Freeman, Sheeman, Dunks, and Phil. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as stacked, but I would say that typically Luigi does things to Jigglypuff. Um, it's considered a bad matchup, generally speaking. Uh, I, I think that Jigglypuff wins in the neutral. Jigglypuff's much better at spacing. Um, but Luigi, it's very easy to, to finish uh, Jigglypuff off as Luigi. You land an up air, you know, you get caught by an up air rather as Jiggly, and uh, it's Quaintance, as they say. And that's what you use to space a lot of the time to see Jigglies with that. Oh man, and Dark Horse has been running the stream all day. Misses that easy rest. But not much comes of it. So Sheeman will lose his first Luigi. He's got three more plumbers in his pocket. Oh. Dark Horse with that zombie colored jigs. You see, he doesn't want to get too close there. He's going to poke at that shield, but he's not going to... Oh, yeah. And so, besides just the up B, which is serious stuff, we just got a lot of weapons that up smash. And it's a situation like that. Yeah, you see he, he, he blocks. He uses his shield because... Easily after a down air or anything on shield, Luigi can just pop right out and take a stock. So Dark Horse is aware of that, so I like the, to see that. I like the way he's playing. He's able to, he's recognizing that, and he's poking shield but staying very far away. Ah, and yeah, Dark Horse is definitely no stranger to this matchup. Yeah, not at all. So now he's up, joined by Protagonist here. Hi, stream. Um, so Dark Horse, two stock lead here. Oh, and dangerous. Roll up because if she just up bees in that situation, that's a stock. Good spacing. Dark Horse is a master of spacing. Oh, yeah. And that's out of range. So Sheeman now cannot rely on the up air. And so Luigi's in this matchup. That's good, good spacing for that back there. Luigi's in this matchup really want to rely on that. So it's kind of hard to figure out what to do. Now what to do because you're, you're really not looking for that. It's not going to net you much. But there it is. There it is. A down air. Z cancel that. Go right into that up, that up B. That's all you got to do to beat Puff. Yeah. But you got to be able to land it. Jigglypuff can... I think Jigglypuff controls space a lot better than yeah. Luigi. And uh, enough DI and you can get out of that. Yeah. It's uh, it's difficult, but it's doable. Yeah, you can at least That's get maybe far away enough or... You know, the thing is, if, if Jigglypuff, like you said, Dark Horse is no stranger to this matchup, but Jigglypuffs are good at this matchup, I think uh, it can really throw off Luigi's who just expect it to be easy, right? It's they, true, yeah. They think that they got it in the bag. Oh, I got to do is catch him with that one up air. No, he knows that's what you want. He's not going to let you do that, so. Yeah, a lot of times we, we like to make a big deal out of the, the big uh, the advantages yeah. that are in a matchup, but really, they're very small. Exactly. This game is really quite balanced, although, uh, of course, not perfectly so, because everything's oh, things are yeah. different. The characters certainly, are different, certainly. so it can't be exactly balanced, but... And I think you're you're no stranger to that being a fox player yourself. You really you yeah. excel at that Pika matchup and uh, and the Kirby no, matchup. You know you do. Yeah, no, I <laughs> so I, I think it's, I appreciate you saying. Yeah, no, I I, I believe that. You know, I say I think it's a testament to that that mindset, which is the right mindset to have. And so this has been a, a slow stock here. And Sheeman maybe finally buckling down, not allowing Dark Horse to to get in. He's, he's at 125. Yeah, that yeah. that up air will trade. That up air again. Now, now Dark Horse is not at a percentage where the up air is very helpful. Oh, yeah, he's oh, wow, man. costly error. Good recognition from Dark Horse to evade down B, but stay close enough that he can pull that off. Good roll. Ooh. He was lucky enough to get the star kill, which means no punish. Uh, yeah, that's exactly. that's really important for Dark Horse. He could finish this off with three stocks here. Sheeman really wants to get another stock for his team. You don't want to make the Luigi have to face a three-star stock Dark Horse when he's at 95. Oh, but... Oh, man. He's all right. He's, he's not in range for, for rest. Like I said, Jiggly's got the... the controls the space, so... 
Gotta be patient here. Don't fish for something that's not there. You know, against Jigglypuff. Oh, uh, no, good. not a good idea. Uh, a Nair would have been a much smarter idea. Definitely. definitely. You know, you, you're not going to get the kill off of the... I mean, maybe you get the kill off the down B if it hits, but the Nair, if it hits, great, and if it doesn't hit, you just screw yourself a grab. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. or a shield break opportunity, which sure. obviously is a stock. Yeah, yeah. So, Dark Horse, very good showing. Three stocks still. Look at that face he's making right now. So confident. My so God. Confident. Yo, before, by the way, I asked him, I was like... I wasn't just being benevolent. I was like, Dark Horse, you need, you need orange juice, you need food or something. So this guy's cranky right now. He's like, get off the stage, Josh. He's hangry. <laughs> after he's, he's hangry. hangry. After yeah. streaming for, running the stream for, I don't know, God knows how many hours. Mm -hmm. What, since he's been here since like 10 a.m. He's Yesterday. been here like 12 hours, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was fast asleep until solid 11.30 noon-ish. At, at which point Soto and I proceeded to get some Vietnamese food and yeah. lollygag until we got here. So you can't blame a man for... No slacking for Dark Horse. It's been a long day for None this guy, that. yeah. He doesn't look tired, though. No, I think he's used to it. Yeah. I think he's, he's just a hard worker. Built for punishment. Yeah. He's got his even match gaming, even matchup gaming shirt on. Dunks. <laughs> Riley, the man himself, Kansas City Chiefs hat. Luigi Main, oftentimes a little stylish to a flaw. That's probably going to bite him from this one. Oh, yeah. Because Dark Horse, is a, he's a fair tactician. Yes. He, kno he knows when he sees an opening, and he knows how to exploit it. So Yeah. So I completely agree. So we'll see. Uh, Dunks can put some points on the board here for his team. Oh. Yep. Dark Horse is doing a, a great job in general uh, of avoiding the, the fireballs. Uh, not getting hit by too often. But I feel like uh, the Luigi's we've seen haven't been using them very much. No, yeah. Shima wasn't really using much fireball. Fireballage, if you will. Oh, yeah, he fades away. Dark Horse is nice. kind of like... Oh, oh, wow. Man, that was so close to connecting. I'm, I'm really surprised Dark Horse didn't die off of that. And Dark Horse is safe it. there because Luigi's so far. Oh, and he misses a Z cancel. I think a Nair there, too. So, Luigi players, if they DI behind you, Nair, you don't, don't, don't F, don't up air. Right? I mean, you're going to cover your back a little bit. Oh, that was so precise. That Nair was so precise. Ooh. But I was gonna say, Dark Horse is safe if he up up smashes. Uh, Jig I'm sorry, uh, Luigi on shield because he pushes him so far away. Ooh, oh, he did yeah. not want a forward throw. That slippery shield is, is definitely gonna come into play. Oh, that was so close to being a uh, that up smash is coming out. He's cocked back, and uh, Dark Horse won't mess up the throw direction this time. Dunks chilling on that top plat. Now it's three socks apiece. Shima was able to take one. See if Dunks can get on the board and uh oh, that could be a problem for Dunks. Yeah, oh. Dunks with a no tech and Dark Horse recognizes it. Nope. I'm oh, sorry. Oh yeah, was that that F throw might be? no. So Luigi's F throw is stronger than his back throw. Great recovery from Dark Horse. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, you wow. didn't. Need, he didn't need to do that. And you know, Luigi just has to be careful trying to be too tricky because it's not like with you know certain characters you mess up and you get hit by something. They have to combo you to finish. You know, like Jigglypuff just has to jump into you and rest at that point. So, yep. Oh, that's not a bit. I like that. He tries for the down B right away. There it is. Oh. So he'll snag another stock. One more stock from Tark. Yeah, so he's done exactly what Sheeman's done thus far. Let's see if he can do one more. He's got one stock left here. That's not going to quite be enough, but almost. I mean, Jiggly is so light. Can you imagine if that did it? Oh, and that was a chance. Honestly, though, if, uh, if Dunks takes out Jig uh, Dark Horse right here, Dark Horse has done his job. He's, he's almost killed two people. Yeah, he's already done his job, right? I mean, he's brought in the second guy down to one stock. Yeah. If... 
Dunks, you know, manages to somehow take two stocks without losing his last stock. It's not a, t it's still a success somewhat. Four person character crew is pretty small. It is small. But, uh, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of people sign up for character crew. No, Sorry, I didn't even know it was a sign up thing. I would have played on Jigglypuff for sure. I'm sure they would have loved to have you. Oh, and yeah, Z cancel, miss, dunks. Yeah, oh, there it is. Yep. Shake off the coin, give him a dollar, and get your money's worth. So Dark Horse taking out two people, only losing a stock a piece. Only two st two stocks for two people. I'll take that trade. Yeah. So we got Phil and Free and left here on Luigi, and the people who argue. That Jigglypuff can't take out Luigi. Watch the uh, those two matches right there. Look, and we get the slash through the names. Whoa. That's cool. Cool stuff. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that, so. Next level uh next level stream for you guys at home, right? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Alright, so let's see what yeah. Phil could do. I'm not familiar with his uh, his playstyle. But he's gotta take two stocks. I wanna see him take two stocks because I wanna see the rest of Jigglypuff. Crew come out. He made it to D1, but I don't think he's a, a Luigi main. So okay, this will be interesting. Freein, the anchor, probably. I mean, Shimon is pretty strong too, but I, I guess Freein probably the strongest player on Jiggly, unless Phil is really good. I'm strongest player on, on Luigi. I'm Free sorry, in. yeah, Luigi. Yeah, Freein, I think. I, I think that's probably true. Freehand's pretty amazing. Yeah. Good, um, Phil did a good job of not, oh, uh, just before when I was uh -oh. saying it. Oh. Well, Dark this Horse missed, but Phil, I was saying up to that point, but aside from that down B, a good job of not overextending and making himself vulnerable. Yeah, good that trade for, trade. yeah, that's a great trade for Dark Horse there. Oh, oh, that is not going to be enough. Phil almost takes out Dark Horse without losing a stock. Let's see. He still has an opportunity to do so, but... Ooh, he tries an up B there. Oh, gee, the down tilt almost came out. Yeah. Grab his faster. Grab his faster. Oh, I thought he was going to do a... I thought he was going to do a teleport rest. Yeah, I, that too, was the... If you were going to do one ever in a moment, the character crew right there was the moment. Oh. Good trade. Well, not even trade. He just eats right through that fireball. Yeah. So can Phil stop the bleeding here? Keep some stockage. A lot of people just they respect the fireballs. They don't even really try to challenge them. But but Dark Horse knows the secret to, to edge guarding Luigi is just eat right through them. Yeah. Punch right through them and hit him. He barely got him at the edge of that. Uh, the edge of that up B. Do you notice? So he was like on the edge before, and Dark Horse was doing just down smashing. And it was like, it was working pretty well. For, well he was, it was working well for Dark Horse. But Phil, a few times, DI'd into the stage and had a few extra chances. So finally he tried to go high, and he gets hit above, and it actually pushed him further away than going into the, into the stage and getting some DI. I don't know, it was interesting. I was surprised he made it back, but he was able to, and stops the bleeding. Yeah, yeah. So Phil has what three stocks, and he's going to go against Ring Edge. So Dark Horse gets back on the stream. Now, what do you know about Ring Edge? I'm, I'm not familiar with this player. I think he's the weakest player on the Jigglypuff team. Uh, I'm not, in a, you know, any kind of disrespectful way. I'm, I'm pretty sure that he he is though. But he's solid. You know, he's a Jigglypuff main, solid player. The other guys though are like I think it's like Tacos and um, can't remember who the next person is though right now. Uh, tacos and CTG. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Tacos, CTG, and Dark Horse. So yeah, Ring Edge is is the uh, weakest of the Jigglies. So if if Phil can't finish them off with these three stocks, you know, if if Ring Edge finishes off Phil, then the Luigi crew isn't gonna be looking very strong because Freehand's no. not gonna be able to work through all of those great Jigglies. I mean, it's, it's doubtful as is, right? You know, yeah. Tacos and CTG. That's a rough, it's a rough duo to go through. But, so Phil even it up at a stock apiece. 
Yeah, he's doing and this, really well. And, and this is a weird, uh, I think, percentage for, well, maybe not. I was going to say a weird percentage for Luigi to have because Jigglypuff can't link much to this, but just a strong hit like a Nair or a Down Smash for an edge guard will do it. And any kind of throw, any kind of throw yeah, is going to do well. Yeah, good point. Like a back throw would be... A back throw, yes. Yeah. Or throw something. Yeah, right. just, you're right. Go up. Uh, speaking of, here we go. Oh, oh. that was a great escape. Yeah, time. it was. That's dangerous. So he. It's gonna do it. He. So Phil hit with that first up air, and it, he hit him pretty far away. He definitely didn't have a follow up, and he kind of tried to pursue like it was there, which put him in a position to get hit with that down air, which led to losing that stock. This could be a stock, yeah! Wow, hey, that was nice. That was gorgeous. The up air to forward air to rest. Ring edge with a gorgeous combination. The ring edge only loses a stock. So, free in with a long battle. So let's see how far he could make his way into this bench of uh, this deep, deep bench for the Jigglypuff team. I'm gonna have to take a break after this one. <laughs> Restroom break. Find someone to commentate with you. You know, I didn't. I didn't really realize just how little it means when you say that Ring Edge is, is perhaps the weakest Jigglypuff. CTG and Tacos are amazing players. Yeah, and, I, that's exactly. And Ring Edge just showed us he's no slouch. Exactly. I don't want to fight him. No. Yeah, it's not. It's in no way an insult to be called the weakest Jigglypuff player on the Jigglypuff team, <laughs> considering the talent, right? Absolutely. So every other person besides Ring Edge, Ring Edge is on the national PR, right? Right. Two years in a row, at least for, I think for both of them. So for for everyone on the, and one is like top 15 or something. Oh, Brian yeah. takes no damage and stock one. Next. Look at that movement, crispy. And you saw he used a lot of a lot of the fireballs in the beginning. That is wow. beautiful. That was great. That was gorgeous. That was so nice. I mean, and I think that I mean, he just really followed that up and got everything he could out of that. Absolutely. Do you think Luigi's like a hard player to, to deal with? It a hard character to deal with if you just land a forward throw. Oh, that fastball up B. Yeah, he's he's just so floaty. You kind of have to. You kind of have to just be happy with platform play. Yeah. Or, yeah, not not landing a, a grab. Like, a lot of characters yeah. can combo from a grab, and Jiggly, I'm sorry, Luigi, rather, usually can. Yeah. Oh, that'll do it. Wow. Yeah. You can you can toss him off and try to edge guard, but that doesn't really help all that much. Uh, he's got a great recovery. Luigi? Yeah. It's not bad, but I think the down smash works in a lot of cases. It does. It does. I mean, at least you, you can try to DI as Luigi, but... Ooh. So Freon has two stocks left. Oh, uh, and this is exactly where he was last time when Ring Edge had that really nice combo. Oh. Yep. There's that down there smash. We go. Yeah. Three. Oh, and he finally gets back. Ring Edge opts to jump for some reason. He maybe it's the wind. Oh, and that's oh, he's alive at 62. That's incredible. Wow, what, that, what, how did he di? I don't know. What he must have di down. I mean, it was below the the stage a little bit when he got hit with it. But then you have to be really careful with push offs against. Oh, great spacing. Push offs against Jigglypuff are so dangerous. And Ring Edge with a chance to take out Team Luigi without even showing their probably best two Jigglies on the team. So, for those who say it's a tough matchup, it may be, but... Oh, my God. Freon now is able to take him out, but he's on his final stock. He's going to have to face CTG or Tacos. Good luck, my friend.
Yeah. Still, Godspeed. Uh, yeah. Ring Edge taking out three of Free End's stocks with Jigglypuff. That is so impressive. It is impressive, That's right? That's so impressive. And Free End's a very good player. I gotta take notes for my Jigglypuff second day. That combo is so nice. A little extra shading. Luigi team says our fireballs will blot out the sun. Our what? Our fire fireballs will blot out the sun. And Jigglypuff says, CTG says, then I, I will fight in the shade. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I feel like that should have like a, then we shall fight in the shade. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. like a deep accented warrior movie voice. Oh. Ooh. CTG. Oh. Very dangerous Jiggly. This match could be over very quickly if Freehan's not careful. Oh. Yeah, great jab. Gets the grab on shield. And oh! Oh, and Freehan does all he can to just get out of there. And maybe he was looking. Oh, whoa! You see the DI to the left! That's not going to help him too much uh, as he's going upwards, and that's how he's going to die, but but still, that was great DI. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he manages to teleport, too. Almost gets down the other side of him. Whoa! Tries that high-angled up uh, forward smash, rather. Oh, oh, my gosh. His teleports are so on point. Yeah, they are. If you see him far away, you got to know those are coming when you play him, right? Absolutely. Right here is it. CTG is never out of range. Yeah. Just never. You might think he is, but he's not. Man, this is One. a dangerous position. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. There we go. And CTG doesn't lose that stock. He takes the one stock he needed to off Freehan flawlessly. Well, without losing a stock anyway.